الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام الرسول اللہ علیہ وصاب اجمعین اما آباد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اولم یر الزین قفر ان سماواتی و الردا کان ترت کن فتق نہ ہما مجھے اللہ من المائق اللہ شعین ہے افلا امنون رب شعلی صدری و یسلی عمری و حل العقد تم السان یف کا کولی مائی رسپیکٹ ریلڈرز اینڈ مائی ڈر برز اینڈ سسٹرز آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود اسلامک گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ آف آل مائی ٹی گاڈ بی آن آل آف یو دا ٹاپک آف دس ایوننگ اسٹاک آف مائن از دا قرآن اینڈ ماڈرن سائنس کمپیٹیبل اور انکمپیٹیبل The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God which was revealed to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For any book to claim that it is the word of God, for any book to claim that it is the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it should stand the test of time. Previously, hundreds and thousands of years back, it was the age of miracles. And Alhamdulillah, the glorious Quran is the miracle of miracles. Later on, more than a thousand years back, it was the age of literature and poetry when the Quran was revealed. And Alhamdulillah, Muslims and non-Muslim scholars alike, they claim the glorious Quran to be the best Arabic literature available on the face of the earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the challenge of the glorious Quran. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 23 and 24, which says, And if you are in doubt, as what we have revealed to our servant, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from time to time, فَاتُوا بِسُورَةِ مِمِّسْلِ then produce a surah somewhat similar to it. And call forth your helpers and witnesses. If there are any besides Allah, if your doubts are but true. And if you cannot. And of a surety you cannot. Then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones, which is prepared for those who reject faith. Here the Quran gives a challenge that try and produce a surah somewhat similar to it. And the shortest surah is hardly three verses, hardly few words. No one has done it so far and no one, inshallah, till eternity will ever be able to do it. But today, Suppose a religious scripture in a very poetic fashion says that the world is flat. Will a modern man believe in it? But naturally no, because today is not the age of literature and poetry. Today is the age of science and technology.